MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Now at the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. He will lead this one off today. One and two, the counts of the Royals shortstop. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees, the reading at first pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Waiting his turn on deck is Alex Gordon. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Digging in now for Kansas City. Alex Gordon. He'll get to take his first cuts here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Reyes will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Whit Merrifield will dig in at the plate. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase it. And the second baseman is there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Coming to the plate now, Victor Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 one, one home. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 1-2. No, that's low. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Batting second, the designated hitter. In now, Harold Castro. Hit weekly back to the mound. The second for one. Return throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. A 1 1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Soler is there, and that's the third out. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Two and two to Jorge Soler. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Reyes is underneath this one. One down. Hunter Dozier digging in now. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. 3-2 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Now with the plate, Salvador Perez. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Oh, and I think that got him in the foot. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. That is seven. The first baseman, number 56. 
Standing in now, Ryan O'Hearn. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Racing back the right fielder. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. The relay throw. But he is in there with a triple. And the run will score, and the Royals are off to a 1-0 lead. The designated hitter, Michael Franco. At the plate, Michael Franco. This one's down to third. Reined in. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jonathan Scope. The 1-1 home is taken for ball two. Pops this one up. O'Hearn has a play, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Next up for Detroit, Cameron Maben, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Weak rounder back to the mound. In time to first, and there are two away. So coming to the plate, Austin Romine. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Throw into second. The tag. And they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Stepping in now, Brett Phillips. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Now Digging back. in, Adalberto Mondesi Adalberto. looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. Alex. First two men in the Gordon. inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Hit down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And it's fouled away. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Stewart is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Now the three and two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Phillips is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Next for the Tigers, Nico Goodrum. Nico. One out, nobody on. Out of play, off to the right. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone. And into bed next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back. Oh. 
high in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Phillips is there for it. Two down. So striding in, Victor Reyes. One for one after a single this first time up. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. set for the start of the fourth and that'll bring up the second baseman with Merrifield the 2 1 this is on the ground over to first and that is through into right field for a single the white beauty of the play Jorge Soler. so now to the plate Jorge Soler Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Now the three and two pitch, and he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Digging in, Hunter Dozier. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. At the plate, Salvador Perez. The catcher, Salvador Perez. A swing and a miss at the slider at 88, two and two. On a line, that's a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a two nothing lead. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now battle, number 56. Into the box, Ryan O'Hearn. Two and one to the Royals' first baseman. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. There's a changeup taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Good battle. Count remains full. To first, gloved by Cabrera, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Now to the plate, Harold Castro comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Phillips patrolling center makes the play one out. Stepping in, Miguel Cabrera. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready on one and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Phillips is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's Jonathan Scope now. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that up. And here's a dive by the center fielder, but it's off his glove. The batter, the center fielder, Cameron. Into the box now, Cameron Mabin fouled off.
Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Scope, the runner at first with two gone. A full count, three and two to the Tigers' center fielder. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled away. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He'll try it again, three and two. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So next to the plate for the Royals, Michael Franco. He'll start it out against Michael Fulmer to begin the inning. Franco ahead with a three and one count now. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Stewart has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. The 1-1 one, one home. Two runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. All even now, two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Adalberto Mondesi. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. A 2 and 1 count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Two runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air, down the line and left. And that is down as that could be two bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The left fielder of the coach, Alex Gordon. In now, Alex Gordon. That's popped up. Candelario in foul ground, but this will land untouched. The one two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. So it's first and second with two men gone. And Whit Merrifield will dig in at the plate. Two men are on with two men out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mabin is there. Makes the catch. And that'll retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Striding in, Kristen Stewart. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He turns on it and sends it deep down the line in right. And gone. He tucked it just inside the foul pole to tie the game. To the plate now, Nico Goodrum. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. 
fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So stepping in, Jimer Candelario. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Now the 2 1. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. The left fielder, number 22, Victor. At the plate now, Victor Reyes. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Jesse Hahn takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Harold Castro will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Now the double steal is on here. Line drive base hit. And to score the runner from second. Now battle. The first base play. Stepping in now, Miguel Cabrera. Fastball taken down the middle, and that's strike two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Now Cabrera swings and misses on a good pitch that time as he's rung up for out number two. Three runs already home here. Rip down the line, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. Castro is on his way home. He'll score easily as they extend their lead to three. Back to the Tigers. The center fielder. So now to the plate, Cameron Maben. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Lifetime against Jesse Hahn. Just a one for nine. Two and two. Two strikes. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Into the corner and slicing foul. ground ball oh and that's off the second base bag and that's through into center field base hit the tag from Perez he's out at the plate standing in now Jorge Soler the bouncer to the left side Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. Throw gets him, two down. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Salvador Perez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. The batter, number 66. At the plate, Ryan O'Hearn in the air out to right. Stewart will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Kristen Stewart. 
Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. That ball's brown. The one two. A bouncer up the middle. Mondesi picks it up. And there's one down now. So digging in now, Nico Goodrum. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Too close for comfort. And he did a good job just to make contact. Another payoff pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch. And he'll stick around to see another one. The next three, two. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field. A base hit. Now batting, the third baseman, Javo. Into the box, Jimer Candelario. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. The batter, the left fielder, Victor. In now, Victor Reyes. And it's 2-1 and one to the Tigers' leadoff hitter. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Next to the plate for the Tigers, the D.H., Harold Castro. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one one home is laid off for ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Too high that time and it's three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. Ah, but the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. So striding forward now, now Miguel Cabrera. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Grounded down the third baseline. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. John Schreiber is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 71. John. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in is the DH, Michael Franco. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Brett Phillips is on deck. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Now batting. Standing in, Brett Phillips. Brett. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. The set and the 1-1 one -one pitch. Two and one. And it's a two and two count to Brett Phillips. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Hit hard towards center, and that's in there. Base hit. Now back. Stepping in now, Adalberto Mondesi. In tight with the slider, two and two. Well, the Royals have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it. 
but now sure would be a great time. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Alec Gordon. Popped him up. Romine waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Whit Merrifield next to hit. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. With Merrifield. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. For the traditional seventh inning. Next, it'll be the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. He drove in two with a double in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at-bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Here's Cameron Maben now. No hits to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit back up the middle. Throw on to first, takes care of Maven, and there are two away. Ready now, Austin Romine. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gordon is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Gregory Soto has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 65. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. The 1-1 home. Misses, ball two. Hit hard back up the middle and into center field a base hit so early trouble here to start the eighth inning. Now batter, third baseman. Hunter. At the plate now Hunter Dozier and he lays off again ball three. Three and two. The runner at first with no outs here. in the air out to center field. Maben is there. Makes the play one away. Digging in Salvador Perez trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. And did he go around. No he did not. Ball two. Bouncing ball, foul. Here now the 2 2. Helpful. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Coming to the plate now, Ryan O'Hearn. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And another foul ball. The one-two. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this one is gone. A home run. Brian Garcia gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Number 33, Brian Garcia. Standing in now, Michael Franco to one and two now. Garcia 
A six foot one inch right hander. He was taken in the sixth round back in the 2016 first year player draft. Hey this middle round selection is still developing but he's doing it at the big league level and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Standing in right. Brett Phillips. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up and that'll get down for a base hit. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. The the At the plate, Adalberto Mondesi lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. He's at the knees and called strike three. Josh DeMont is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 63. Josh. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kristen Stewart. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. No contact there, and it's one and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Nico. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Here's another one, too. And he popped him up. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now batter, the third baseman, Jay Hurd. Candelario. To the plate now, Jimer Candelario. A pie, two and one now. To two and two now. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Merrifield brings it in. Throw gets him, two down. Digging in the switch hitter, Victor Reyes. One for two in the ball game thus far. Fastball laid off well below the knees. To two and two now. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything. So he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here's a pop up now. And no one will get this one. The payoff pitch. Count remains full. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Into the box now, Harold Castro. And they're runners at the corners now. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Three balls and two strikes to the Tigers' designated hitter. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he misses again. Ball four. Yeah, and that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Two balls and a strike for the Tigers' first baseman. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. 
if you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And not in time as the run scores. And the second runner will pull up stakes over a third, so now one run is in, and the bases stay loaded with two away. Kevin McCarthy answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. In now, Jonathan Scope. The set and the one two. Line drive to left. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. As he arrives at second without a play, as two runs come across to score Number away from the play. Cameron. Into the box, Cameron Maven. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. And he lays off it to even the count, two and two. Line to the right side. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Roni Garcia comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 51. New inning set to get underway. And digging in is the outfielder, Alex Gordon. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. And he fouls this one off. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. On, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The Stepping two. into the box, Second Mick three. Merrifield. He comes three. into this appearance three. in the midst of a one for four day. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Maven there to put it away for out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first will take care of him. And the Tigers will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Well, it's always been festive on Independence Day in the United States. But what makes the party even more fun is winning in front of your home crowd makes those fireworks even more enjoyable. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. Detroit crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Michael Fulmer earns his sixth winning decision in this one. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. This afternoon, first for the victorious Tigers, nine runs on 13 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For Kansas City, five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, 